Acts chapter 1, verse 3, Jesus spoke about the kingdom of God. His followers were so excited. He had raised from the grave, and they were just waiting for and anticipating that moment when he would come and overtake the Romans, restore Israel, give back the grandeur of the people, and restore the former things and take away all the shame, the difficulty, the trouble that they'd face and take care of their enemies. And so they said, when is the kingdom going to happen? And Jesus says, that's not for you to know. But he talked about his authority and the power that would come to them with the kingdom of God. They had no idea what Jesus was talking about when he said he was in the process of restoring his kingdom. When a king came to the land in first century Judea, they would send out witnesses across the area to the entire region, and they'd announce the king has been placed upon the throne. They would be his witnesses. Jesus said to his followers, you will be my witnesses when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and gives you power, starting with Jerusalem going to Judea, Samaria, and, and even to the very ends of the earth. You see, it was Jesus' understanding that the kingdom wasn't just something that would happen way back there. It was something that began long ago and that God has been working on. And we're sandwiched in the middle. We're part of his great kingdom work, but it's not finished yet. Revelation chapter 21 is one of my favorite passages. In that passage, if you have a moment, I invite you to take a second and get out your Bible and put a bookmark in the special chapter. Revelation 21, 1 to 5. It says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. The sea was seen as the the place of darkness and, and evil, that place is gone. That's what John is talking about. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for a husband. And I heard a loud voice from the, vo from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning nor crying nor pain anymore for the former things have passed away. Do you see how God restores that which was his original plan through his kingdom? It started with a couple in paradise and at Jesus' first wedding was a first miracle was a wedding and here the bride is being united with the bridegroom and then in verse 5 this wonderful statement that is one of my favorites in scripture revelation 21 5 and he said he who was seated on the throne said behold i am making everything new it's this wonderful promise that it's the, the now and not yet, there and then, that we are participating in the greatest movement that the world has ever known. And so the question for us is, do we understand that we are in the sandwich in the middle? We, we are the people who wait yet for the anticipation of God's great work to be finished, but we're not the ones who have had to wait like those before us. And we are part of seeing his kingdom plans come through. Here's, here's a question for you. Where are you in the kingdom building process? Where is your hope meter in the joy of thinking about God's kingdom that now exists and is yet being fulfilled? And one day, his promise will be realized. There will be no more COVID-19. There will be no more brokenness in humanity, no more sickness, no more mourning, no more pain. What an incredible promise as we wait for him and yet participate in the building of his great kingdom 
as we love others to God, as even he has loved us. That's his call, to be kingdom kids, to go out and be witnesses to the far ends of the earth. I'm Pastor Tim. It's been great to be with you today on our journey through the book of Acts. God bless you.